Tomorrow will be reopened in Greek Street. Girls, why not come? You're a scorpion, Mrs. Stanton, and I've asked you to sting Margaret Wells. The deed grants you your own liberty. It doesn't extend to the children. If they're slaves, you'll buy them back. I can never be a whore. And who is Mr. Osborne? He's the short straw. I don't want a life like Kitty and Bunny. I don't think she likes me. to be my keeper. He was very keen to have you, but when I questioned him further about his finances, he fell far short. Sorry. Find you another better keeper. Lady Caroline's Baron. Is she? Poor girl. I don't pity her, it's her own fault. The serpent feels no inclination to perform for her. She must not worship it as I do. It's such a fine, beautiful beast. <laughs> yeah, I'd like you to have my air. Would you? Hmm. You could bear it and then we could send Caroline off to the country and pretend it was hers. I wonder what Lady Caroline would think to that. Who cares? to wash. This is your own doing, you know. <coughs> you think I did this to myself? You get these disagreeable experiences because you cannot... Disagreeable? Stop pretending you're still a lady. That went up your ass with a prick of that rake you ran away with. No more county balls for poor Miss Pettifer. Only hairy ones now. I hope he strangles you next time. I used to get Osborne. Then you came. And no one notices me so much. Don't you dare be nice to me. Don't worry. I'm a bitch. Cross the threshold of the Blackamoor pimp and the archboard of London. Your lust will confound you. It will cost you your soul. The Blackamoor pimp. Oh, 
My agreement with your father was a verbal one. He didn't specify a date for repayment. But your house is clearly failing, so I wish to withdraw my investment. <laughs> I got it. Your father knew it would take time. But I can offer you the oldest payments known to man. Payment in kind. I've seen your girls, they're not worth ten shillings. I don't take kindly to that. If you cannot see my worth, clearly, you have not come close enough. Turn over and lie still. Maria, may I have your water in my jug? Why doesn't nobody want her? Mr. Lynch said that she withdrew when we went to touch her. Counting on that money. If he'd have taken her, he'd have paid off half our debts. Alan, this wants is long. We can't pay it back. Three days, Will. Three days and the rent is due. And I haven't got it. Business will pick up. We've still got our regulars. I'm going to see Charlotte. You all right? Of course. Don't fret. Daughter. Margaret Wells has debauched her own child. That girl is cursed to have such a mother. What about your poor child? Margaret Wells, you are treacherous to the innocent. You fake. You'll pay by Dame Death to destroy my trade. <laughs> he was a picture. Mrs. Wells cursing and Mrs. Scanwell crying Dina. <laughs> Oh, deliciously vulgar. I swear she'll flounder before the week is out. The Spartans are preparing for their sacred games. They would like a sacrifice to augur their success. <laughs> Spit it out. You want to spoil another virgin. Allow me my metaphors. Do they make your enterprise any less vile? The terms will be the same. No. Your Spartans all have names. I want one. That's my price. I have sworn an oath of secrecy. A pox on your oath. My neck is at stake. Knowledge is security. One girl, one name. Have you no calls with you, Mr. Law? I've got no sound around here. Margaret Wells. Margaret Wells is an enemy of God. Let's have a another rest. Why don't you knock on the door? We could do it in the bed for lunch. Do you want it up an alley on the door and the grease? If you can't think of what to say, or it comes out wrong, then you just nod and smile and move on to easy bit. So you find it easy? If it's given you no pleasure, manage things. To bring them on. You can be bold. By grasping the nettle. Yes. It's an easy beast to tame. Yeah. Make yourself its mistress. Take a firm hold and set the pace. Like on a horse. Start with a trot. <laughs> and build to a gallop. And the more aroused they believe you, <laughs> the sooner the cannon will fire its balls. <laughs> <laughs> I could bestride the world with such a serpent. <laughs> There's no easier chimp to master than a man in a bed with a stiff little pencil. Sir George, <clears throat> how is... Satan built a palace in the fiery pit! The thing that sets us apart is the warmth of our welcome. It's different here. 
Coles we need, they don't want common girls singing baldy songs. They want a good time, we know how to give it to them. She says her ass is Satan's palace. Then why don't we show her how we dance? some sparkling sheep suit, add some spice. I could even snag Lord Fallon. He's a nicer fish, but the whole world follows him. She's done you a favour, that preacher. Hmm. She's made you notorious. You're the bad border London ma, when I've striven so hard to be so good. I'll do pimping at the cocoa tree tonight. I'll take the issue of you. See if you can help her. As an instrument of the law, you must be spotless and above reproach. Yes, sir. Absolutely. When a man knows your vice, he can use you, can't he? And in your position, that's a dangerous thing. Yes. Yes, sir. Take us to Quigley's in Golden Square and wait for a reply. That's a... awful, sir. <laughs> I like you, Oswald. You're efficient. I'd hate to lose you for the sake of your filthy fuck. Better, man. Can't see you anymore. I'm sorry. Mark Wells' mother, let the evil one spill his seed. I'm sorry if I've appeared disapproving. Well, we are mucky whores. Being used by all those men. Being paid. Money I earn takes care of my daughter. Where is she? With my sister. why your mama torments me and you think i'll thank you for your sugar pigs you fat useless grinning baby have a care emily i care to see you clinging to your mama's teats when you could be a man how much does mr osborne pay i'm just as coming mama knock before you come in Emily Lacey is not to have Mr. Osborne anymore. Go out and knock! Did you hear what I said? I won't allow it. Very well. When Mr. Osborne arrives, you tell him so. And keep him happy. Even if you have to service him yourself. <laughs> you won't dare say a word. Oh. Albert's friends at Christopher Rutledge. Everyone calls him Crispy. <laughs> One, public school indiscretion, which he failed to wipe from his breeches. <laughs> Miss Wells, as dazzling as ever. May I present my sister Lucy? She's new to society, so don't start there with any acts of depravity. You have my word as a gentleman. It's not your word, she must be wary of. <laughs> <laughs> Here's our prize, Lord Fallon. If we get him, we get him. I want the skinny blonde. But Miss Pitifer is blonde. 
I'll have the skinny one or none at all. Then none at all. I have spent thousands here quickly, and I pay to do as I like. If I go, I won't be back, and I will blacken your name from Westminster to Wapping. Mr. Osborne, has there been some misunderstanding? No, madam. I've been extremely clear. What is to do to trade for this house, not to use it? I'm fit for purpose. Now? I've been to a thousand of such tedious masquerades. By this time you'll find your every desire is well met, my lord. I have only one desire, Miss Wells. Will you exchange your boy for a man? I hope to indulge in it. Sir Christopher, you know my heart is only one familiar. Your love is as boundless as a leaking jug. I'm moved by your tender affections. All I'm moved. What say, Fallon? I like my pleasures guaranteed. I prefer mine stolen and illicit. Quick before you go too far. Rouge again. My mother would count it a special honour if you'd attend, my lord. Since when did I give a damn about your mother? My mother is the Archbord of London. Did you not know? So we're all to wear masks and pretend we're in Hades. <laughs> not all of us have to pretend. I must decline your thrilling offer. You disappoint me. I'd heard Lord Fallon was a man of discernment. To Hades. And all who dare to travel there. Son, I vanquished him for you. You look as if you've met with luck. I met with an amorous lady of means. My mother's given a party. We come. Yes. You must wear a mask. I will. You must take yours off. I will. It's time for you to leave. Sir George, may I present you? Leave. I haven't finished playing. Well, I'm ordering you back to the house. Making yourself foolish. <laughs> Did you have done that? Go back to the house, or I'll take you there myself. My sister's still inside. You cannot go back in. I just played my hand. I let the mask slip for a moment and you saw me laughing. Over here. Yes, I'll see your sister safe now. I'll be wary. There's snares all around for us, harlots. Where's your master? He has not yet come home. Perhaps he sought more congenial company. Oh dear. Spurn for another, how will I ease my poor heart? I didn't know you had such an organ in your body. I swear you're missing an organ too, Haxby. Mother, Mrs. Quigley.
Please, here. Mrs. Quick. No, 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 no. Do not trouble yourself, dear Mrs. Scandal. Amelia tells me you are unwell. Here, child. Run to the apothecary for a soothing draught. Trust you will be recovered enough to preach tonight. Margaret Wells's wickedness cannot be allowed to proceed unchecked. I will do your bidding no longer, Mrs. Quigley. My daughter and I will seek new accommodations as soon as I am able. I have a story I would share with you. A tale of a shameless whore whom I once saw cavorting with her cull in plain sight. Such a lascivious display from a young woman without fear and decency. I've watched her progress with interest ever since. What was your name in those days? Does your congregation know? Or your daughter? Enjoy your preaching, Mrs. Scannell. to judge. Bloody purse was empty anyway. You got any money? Come on then. Take a flower. Fresh cut this morning. Pay for a posy, my lady? Hmm. Tell me, child, have you no family? Oh. I'll be trying to be a lady's maid. You will. The house is owned by a most charitable Christian gentleman. We've placed half a dozen girls in good households. I can hardly believe it. What did I do to deserve such good fortune? <laughs> Thank you. Madam. Do I detect a small voice of conscience whispering in your ear? You're going to try and save my soul? This is such a sinful world. You're the one who needs saving. Fine. Nancy says we're to meet her at Mrs. Wells's. Believe me. The wages of sin don't earn themselves. She comes to Hades too. Plenty of souls to save there. You want to see my world scam also work? You do well. There'll be a place here for you, Betsy Fletcher. Why don't I get a mask? Won't you? Do you 
Okay. You must be sane. Must be like Who is this handsome stranger? I feel strangely drawn to him. <laughs> As you are to all handsome strangers. Put gold into your lap if I was sure of your love. You have it. I love you. I told you not to lie. So you are the ferryman who must be paid. No, oh, Nancy. I am Hades, king of the underworld. <laughs> Here's me queen. Tonight will be what we make it. You make it. Because you're Margaret Wells, Queen of Bloody Soul. <laughs> I was told there was a party. Take any girl you want. They're on the house. Oh, no. oh. Take your pick. This way, you curse. <laughs> Margaret Wells openly taunts God. Her house sits like a crusting scab over the separating boy of hell. Thank you, Mrs. Scamwell. Thank you for showing those sinners where to come. Welcome. Welcome, one and all. Welcome to my fiery hull. <laughs> sinners all. Pandemonium. You test God's patience tonight, men. <laughs> Hush. You'll be like thoroughbreds amongst donkeys. Hurry. Where are you going? To the masquerade of Margaret Wells's. I shall take our girls and steal her train. That will show mother that my judgment can be trusted. Who will take me with you? No. She's taking my allowance away. You are a donkey. Sorry, let's take a message to Mrs. Wells for me, I beg you. Tell her I want to come back. Tell her I'll do anything. I was as fun. Like we she would kill me. No you moved to repent, sister? You know your sister, Ratface. Who are you to insult me? I am my queen's the same way as you. I don't know a mind spying for Dame Death. I do what I must to survive. And do this. When the harlot in your arms removes her mask, the grinning death said is all that you will see. Madam, I'm the curate from St. Clement Danes. Hearing of your indisposition, I've come to you, preaching your sake. Who sent you? A friend. Mother, we must pray for the kindness of that friend. The skulls will have eyes, and the eyes will have jewels. And there will be feasting in hell, with roasted swans and pig's heads with apples dipped in virgin's blood. And sinners will eat nectar from each other's stomachs, and those of firm and manly impulse. That's all fun. I told you I'd get it. I'll never doubt it. Welcome to my midnight realm. Our visit won't be long. Pandemonium! <laughs> <laughs> Let the folder rolls begin. <laughs> I'm here to work. Gentlemen, may I present a new and exotic addition to our house? Never. Like George, a black Venus. I'm Dido, queen of Carthage. Fated to the underworld for daring to love. Who dares love me? Oh, very nice. Now that's how a hall makes an entrance. Thank you.
Did you promise me a glimpse without your mask? Not too much, sir. Not now. There'll always be one of us. Your jealousy's absurd. He came with erectors, I hardly know him. You think I don't know what a faithless whore you are? All right. I've pleasured every one of your friends behind your back. And we laugh at what a credulous ass you are. So pleasant as the moon, we descend on the house of Wales. Go and seek the best colours and bring them away as fast as possible. Lord Fallon, Mr. Osborne, no wonder you're leaving. Here is much finer sport. Go and finger your mother quickly. Donations, please. Thank you. Then and not you. Twice as much again if you want to gain entry. are so long that people can't reach their mouths so all the diners starve to death they don't figure out that they can feed each other You're a 
Waters. I don't want no quarrel with her. I'll smile and smile and bring you new custom. Mrs. Quigley does not appreciate my talents. How much do you owe? Sixty. But I'll owe you three every time a penis comes my way. Sounds like a fair exchange. Quarrel be damned. I like you upstairs. Go on. remedy that, don't you think? I have to speak to my mother. So she can charge me again. It's time to be good. Boy or Lucy. You harlot. Keep your hands off my bow. It's yours for the taking. Why are you hiding down here? Don't you want to sail on the high sea? Of course I do. My desire is an ocean. Spill it into me, you brute creature. You cause her. Now, on this table. <laughs> You're disgusting! Your sister doesn't seem to think so, do you? Do you? No. Maybe now you'll think twice before you lick honey from that Irish rake. Just go. You gave Margaret Wells my girl. They spirited her away. I couldn't find her. You went to that bitch's kennel with some pieces of my property. What did you think would happen? We meant to steal her trade. Yes, and instead she stole mine. You let that she hung on rings around you just like that sly harpy upstairs. Oh, you're a man all right, brave boys. The bridge is too swollen to think. That's hardly fair. She had a girl. Your daughter of mine would allow herself to be duped by a whore. Why were you the one I chose to keep? Move aside. I am not yours to command. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you.